We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings, greetings, greetings in the wonderful, precious name of Jesus. Welcome to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. It is so good to be with you. It is another day. Another day to live to the fullest. Another day to press on. The grace of God is sufficient in all seasons, and even in this season, the grace of God is sufficient. My dear friend, I want to speak to you today, and I want to tell you to be a wise manager of the resources that God gives you in the year 2024. Use your resources wisely. In this year, it is so important that you ask God for wisdom and guidance of how to use your resources, where to put them, where to invest, and how to do things so that you may produce fruit a hundredfold with regards to all the resources that God has given you. Let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are in your own words, welcome the Holy Spirit in the place where you are watching. Precious Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you right here in studio and I thank you that it is not the end. The best is yet to come. I thank you that you are moving right now and you are touching my dear friend. Take my dear friend closer to Jesus. Convict my dear friend in the way that my dear friend must go. That my dear friend will grow and be strong in Christ. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, I truly believe in 2024 as you are close to God. God is going to bless you. He is going to give you certain resources. And it's very important that you use those resources well. Be a wise manager of the resources that God will give you. Be a wise steward of all that God entrusts to you, not just physically, but also spiritually, concerning your spiritual gift, concerning all that God gives you. Be wise in the way that you use it. God is always speaking, and if we are willing to listen, we will tap in and we will hear what the Lord is saying. And those who are willing and obedient eat the best of the land. So as you follow the direction of the Holy Spirit, as He guides you in the will of God, and you will know it is the will of God because it will be in line with the Word. It will never contradict the Word. The guidance that the Holy Spirit gives never contradicts the Word. As you follow His guidance, He will lead you in what to do and when to do it, so that you will reap a hundredfold, so that you will prosper, so that you will have more than enough, and you will have nothing to worry about. You will not be afraid of food shortages, you will not be afraid of the economic issues and the economic problems happening around the world. But you will know that your God is with you. He has already spoken to you, showing you what you must do and how you must do it. Let God lead you. Let God guide you. Just as He was with Joseph, He will be with you. And Joseph interpreted the dream of Pharaoh. And because he was given that gift of interpretation and he knew how to manage and use it well, he was able to set aside a plan that saved not only himself and his family and not only the Egyptians, but also the people of God. In the same way, allow God to guide you. Allow God to lead you. 
in how you utilize your finances, in how you utilize your resources, in how you utilize all that God has given you. And He will lead you to greater glories. He will lead you to a place of blessing. He will lead you to a place where you have more than enough, even in the seasons of drought. God is with us, and God never leaves us. God never forsakes us, and God will supply all your needs. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. Let us begin by praising God just for a few moments. And as we discern God's presence, then I'll pray for you in line with this word. Father, we praise you and we thank you. Thank you that you don't leave us helpless and you're with us even today. Thank you for our family and our friends that you've placed around us, our loved ones. And thank you for the time that we get to spend with them. Most of all, thank you for the time that we get to spend with you. Thank you for bringing us this far. And thank you that it is not the end. The best is yet to come. And thank you that you will be with us even in the year 2024. Thank you for your guidance and your direction. As we follow you, you show us the way. Speak to us. Lead us. Guide us. And lead us in the way that leads to life. Do what only you can do in my dear friend's life and take my dear friend up. That my dear friend may know you more and my dear friend may walk with you. And know that this is the God who speaks and he lives. Let my dear friend see miracles, signs and wonders as they are willing and obedient. Those who are willing and obedient eat the best of the land. As my dear friend makes a conscious decision to draw nearer to you. Draw nearer to my dear friend. That my dear friend may know you. And I mean truly know you. I give you praise and I thank you for this in Jesus name. Amen and Amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence and I know, I trust, I believe. God is going to bless you. As we begin to pray, be expectant. Believe God that He will give you the grace to manage your resources well and believe as though it is already done. Comment and agree and connect in faith. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Give my dear friend the grace to manage resources well, that the resources will increase and not decrease. That my dear friend will go up even in seasons when other people are going down. That my dear friend will be the head and not the tail. That my dear friend will have more than enough overflow, abundance. In the midst of situations where there is drought or economic problems. Speak to my dear friend and lead my dear friend in the right way that they must go, what they must do, when they must do it. My dear friend, dear dear son, my dear friend, dear dear daughter, and draw my dear friend closer to you. Amplify and magnify the voice of your Holy Spirit within my dear friend. And bless my dear friend mightily, especially in the year 2024. Let it be a year of blessing. Let it be a year of favor. Let it be a year of abundance. Let it be a year that my dear friend will prosper and receive from you. I ask this in Jesus' name. And I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. My dear friend, receive the grace to manage your resources well. Be blessed going in and coming out. Be blessed in all that you do. May God open up the way for you. Wherever anyone has tried to tie your life and tried to hold you back, be set free right now in the name of Jesus. Be set free in the name of Jesus, that you may go up and not down. And I decree and declare with the power in the name of Jesus, 
The more they try to pull you down, the more you'll go up. Receive promotion, receive breakthrough, receive a blessing that makes rich and adds no sorrow. May you taste and see of the goodness of God even in the land of the living. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. God bless you, my dear friend. God be with you. May the grace of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.